dumb heart, cake walk, joy ride, fake car, straight talk, straight talk, straight talk. Um, my name is Claudia Tessarin Campbell, and I am the president of the Dr. Sashiva Foundation. Welcome to these three things. You don't know what it is about. Usually once per month, usually on the last Saturday of the month, we come to you live to discuss three things. Three things that stick in our craw, that, that either made us happy or made us angry or just somewhere in between. And um, so we hear the, the directors of the Dr. Sashiba Foundation come and each of us choose one such topic and we discuss. Yes, I'm this and I'm all in my zone. James Brown. Dumb heart, cake walk, joy ride, fake car, straight talk, straight talk, straight talk, straight talk. Dumb heart, cake walk, joy ride, fake car, straight talk, straight talk, straight talk, straight talk. Check a flag waving green light flashing all of you see is gold. Hey, whip my wrist, my whip got hits. I whipped up this my stove. Hey, shoot like this you get when you subscription HBO. Yay, misfit with the shoes too slick, too slip up, slip they throw. On the lay, right at they next. And- Hi, good evening, and welcome to these three plus things. My name is Claudette Esterine Campbell, and I am the president and chairperson of the Daughter Sashiba Foundation. The Daughter Sashiba Foundation is a Canadian registered nonprofit organization. We are not a charity, we are a nonprofit organization. Yes, charities are nonprofit organizations at start, but they go one step further and are registered. Um, in the States, I think they call it a 401 or something like that. I don't know what they call it in Britain. Um, Gloria can tell us. And in Canada, we also have to go one step further to register as a charity, whereby we have to issue tax-exempt receipts. Um, so we are not a charity. We are a nonprofit organization. And our primary concern is with the issues of women. Uh, most of our work is conducted via social media, social media platforms through our website. But we also have um, private group conversations, private seminars, one-on-one conversations with people and direct interventions selected by our directors. Speaking of directors, um, these three things is hosted by myself. As I said, I am the chair and president of the Daughters of Sheba Foundation, as well as um, our director, Treasurer Gloria Rose Saunders and Clara Brown, who is our director uh, secretary, who is as always late. And uh, then we have added, oh, here she is. Call her name and she turned up. <laughs> and um, we also this year we introduced having a fourth person when we can. So that's our plus guest. And this month, our plus guest is Colleen Crary de la Mota. Colleen is an educator in Jamaica, and also recently she accepted to uh, support us and become one of the administrators here at the Daughters of Sheba Foundation on our social media, as well as coordinate, you know, some private events that we have. So thank you, ladies. Thank you for being with me for another month, the month of May. I don't know if you're hearing me okay. I have been away for, what, two weeks, three weeks, um, one, 10 days of vacation, and then here we go. The coughing is about to begin. Um, I was sick for all of last week, just regaining my voice. I had to postpone, reschedule a live that was supposed to happen last Saturday to this Saturday. So I hope you'll all be able to join me then with Mama Jane. And um, so I'm not going to talk too much. I hope I, I'll try. Otherwise, I'm going to lose um, the little voice that I have. Um, so Thank you again, ladies, for being here. I don't know if each of you want to say a quick hello before we get started. Gloria? Gloria, turn on your your microphone. Oh, she... Gloria! Okay, let's go to Colleen. (laughs) Hi, everyone. As you know, I'm Colleen. And um, I have been introduced already by Claudette. And... um, um, about me, okay. What you see, what you get is really <laughs> <laughs> what makes me me. That's what I am looking for now. And um, I used to be 
thinking about everybody else, but recent times I've decided to share myself with me and find out more about me. And that's what I am doing now, apart from, you know, continuing to um, be of service to others. Yes. Thank you. All right, Paro, a quick intro of yourself. Uh, hi. Bye. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really need, do not need much introduction, but I'm Clara Brown, Director Secretary of the Daughters of Sheba Foundation. Welcome to one and all. Hi, Colleen, it's good to have you again. And we look forward to a very um, spirited conversation. Spirited conversation. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Gloria, your turn. I don't know if you can hear me. Yes, we can. Okay, having issues, I'm not sure why. Um, oh, okay. I am Gloria, you all know, and um, a director here at Lodz Sheba Foundation. And it's a blessing and a privilege to be with you guys tonight. All right. It's, so, Pam, it's Pam Gloria because um, StreamYard don't recognize you. <laughs> it looks good. It looks no, she's good. there. She's there, Gloria. It says Gloria. Um, yeah, me know. But she has not been here for four months. No, yes. no, she, she was here the other night, wasn't she? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she was here at the last one. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. No, so um, we're going to introduce TV. a little new thing. Sorry, go ahead. I wasn't here at the last three, the last few three things. That's what she's talking about. Oh, 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 but you were at an event that we had recently. Okay, okay, got you. So, folks, as we said, <coughs> here we go. You're watching these three things, three, these three plus things, and it is a program where we discuss each of us pick something. There's so many things, but we each pick one thing that stood out for us for the month that we're ending, and we're ending the month of May, that stood out, like I love to say, sticking our craw, something that we found offensive or something we found amazing, something, you know, that we just want to, to, to highlight, whatever it is. But before we do that, we're going to introduce a, a new little piece, a, just a, a one-minute segment, which I've called, as most people call, the monologue. And because it's new, <clears throat> I'll go first. I'll be the first one to do it. This, this time around, next month, it will be somebody else. So for me, <clears throat> and this is not my three thing. This is, this is the monologue of um, stuff that really, for me today, that came to my attention. You know, I, I, like I said, I've been ill and I've been watching listening and so forth more. Um, I've even commented a couple of places and then deleted my comment in one place because I thought, oh, screw this, waste of my time. I don't have time for this. Um, these people, sorry, I, I hate that phrase. These people, it's not worth it though. So let me just leave it alone. But the thing I want to talk about quickly in my monologue, the first ever on these three things is social media bullying. And um, in particular, in the Jamaican and the Jamaican diaspora corner of social media. I think, um, and I, I notice it as well, but I just can't understand the language. So maybe that's why I don't know how deep it goes. So I can only speak about where I can understand the language. I do experience it in other places because as a platform, we do have people who visit our platform and who try to bully us into, into, into their point of view. So for example, I don't think it's this month, it might have been in April, we had a post, um, I don't remember what it was about, it has something to do with um, religion, Islam, something, or made some mention of Islam. And oh, I, 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 I posted something about the movie. Any of you watched the movie, Not Without My Daughter? Yeah. No. No, it's a very old movie, like 20 years old. And I posted a clip about the movie and said, highly recommended and so forth. It was well, we got a lot of responses to it, but we also got a lot of vitriol regarding it, you know, particularly from the, the Islamic community, people who represent um, people from Jordan, Lebanon, wherever it was filmed, or it was about Iran, Iran. 
um, because they felt that um, it, it cast their country and their culture in a bad light. That wasn't the point of the movie. That wasn't the point of, um, of it being posted on our platform. The point of it being posted on our platform was about the women's issue because, as I said, we are a woman focused organization. So anything that concerns women, anything that concerns women and their children, anything that concerns women and relationship, anything that concerns women and their money, anything to do with women. And we don't talk about, we used to only focus on Jamaican women, but we do not anymore. We focus internationally. And I really like to see, I'll talk about that later. But anyway, also that, and you should see <coughs> The some of the responses cost us out about um, why we, 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 we're um, disseminating false information. I'm saying, why is the information false? Because it goes against your belief. That's why it is false. But this was somebody's lived experience because it's a true story. You know, and I'm seeing that as well within the Jamaican community on social media and in the diaspora, the Jamaican diaspora, whereby um, there is a particular segment or a couple segments of the Jamaican social media community that just going around and trolling people. If you are not with them, if you're not singing from their songbook, you are target. Um, if what they're saying is utter nonsense, goes against every reason, it's, it's stupid, it's dunce, it's unintellectual, it's a lie, you're not to say anything because they're a Jamaican and you're a Jamaican and you're not to say anything. And it's so horrible. It got, so, it, 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 it's always been horrible, but um, today it got really bad for me in two instances. Um, there's a young lady and I'll try my best not to call names, but um, because we're not here for the likes and the clicks and, and so forth. But there's a young lady who um, did a live, whether you agree with her or not, but she did a live and she was talking about her mom. And apparently <coughs> she brought her mom to live in um, the States with her from Jamaica and they're having issues. And apparently the entire family is in disarray. Her new husband also to the, new, to the US um, from Jamaica. Apparently I didn't watch it myself. Apparently, you're just having a serious problem with the mother. And she decided, because she lives her life on social media, she decided to come on social media and talk about it. Um, a couple of people, this is a thing that they do too, they stream other people's lives. And um, a couple of places, even right now, there is one who is streaming that young lady's life. And you should hear them crucifying her. Now, listen, I carry no brief for this young lady. I, I, as, as I, I made a comment on somebody's post and I deleted it, you know, not because I, what I said was wrong, but because I just decided, I don't, I don't. but um, <clears throat> I, I said, I carry no brief for this young lady. I, as a matter of fact, I do not watch her. I do not follow her. I know of her, um, but what she does, I find it quite vulgar. And um, so it's not something that I watch, but her experience is real and you guys really need to stop it. Um, they, they were saying that she shouldn't be talking about her mother like that, blah, blah, blah. Whether she should or she should not be talking about her mother, that is her experience. You know, and I went on to say, I had similar experience with my own mother. You, my friends know it. People who know me on social media know it. People who know me in my blog, in my writings and everything. I've never hidden the fact that I had a horrible relationship with my mother. Um, my mother was abusive. My mother opened me up to abuse. My mother opened me up to near prostitution. And I'm not going to come on social media or anywhere and pretend that that is not the truth. It's the truth. So do not bash a woman for speaking her truth. And then these are the same people who come on and say that they're into woman empowerment and they don't have a damn clue as to what it means to be an empowered woman. You know, so that is my first thing. The other piece of this bullying that I'm seeing on social media within our um, community, there is another Jamaican, person, again, somebody, a woman who I do not follow. She runs a charity or used to run a charity in Mandeville or somewhere. And um, 
people call her all sorts of names, whatever. If she's a scammer or not, I don't know. It's not my business. Um, but apparently, she she she's had she went through some difficult times, marriage breakup, and all of that, all of that. And I, <coughs> as I was sitting waiting for my granddaughter to come out of school, I heard this woman literally crying on social media saying that they basically ran her out of her business her whatever whether it's a legal charity or not I, that's not the point but they they took away that from her um they bullied her out of it and now she is um working for somebody and you know what the people did somebody had the audacity to go to the find out where she works went to her workplace website and started writing up on the company website about her. And she was crying and suicidal and all of that. And I'm like, for crying out loud, how can you all see something like social media as the, the, the tool for you to literally unalive people by your actions? You know, because social media has been monetized, you know, and a lot of these people do not want to work, go find a nine to five or a 10 to 10 or whatever the job is. They have decided to make their money on social media and they make their money by bullying others. And then they call it woman empowerment. It is not woman empowerment. It is bullying, right? It, it is, and it made me, I was sad and I was crying myself. Listen to her again. It's not somebody who I hold a, a brief for, but I, I believe her name is Anna, and I'm calling her name. Um, I believe her name is Anna. She has a, 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 a un, I think she's registered a registered charity in Mandeville. And my God, you know. And the sad part of all of this bullying that's happening is being done by gay men. It is being led by gay men. And then the LGBTQIA community wonder why some of us are beginning to have myself. I am very, I consider myself a part of that community, but we're having serious problem with these gay men on social media. And that is my rant. Thank you very much for enduring me. I don't know. You don't have to say anything. That is the monologue. Next month, either Clara or Gloria, or if it's Colleen, we'll talk about something or things that really, really stood out for them on the day of. So we're going to start this evening with the three, three plus things, um, the real three plus things, and we're going to kick off with Gloria. So give me a second and we will get, you don't need to comment on what I just said. We will get that going. Dumb heart, cake walk, joy ride, fake car, straight talk, straight talk, straight talk. Um, my name is Claudia. Okay, so our first thing this evening is um, uh, an article that Gloria um, want to bring to our attention. Are you hearing me okay, guys? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. Where did Gloria go? She keeps dropping off. Having issues with her Wi-Fi. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We can start it out for her. Um, it says, U.S. couple among three missionaries killed by gang in Haiti. Jamaica. Um, okay, let me not say that. Let me just wait for Gloria to come and let me see if I can. That's not. If I can find... So the article says, Washington, United States, AFP, a U.S. couple were among three missionaries shot and killed by a gang outside a church in the Haitian capital, which has endured months of extreme violence with deadly assaults on hospitals, prisons, and government buildings. Missions in Haiti, an Oklahoma-based nonprofit founded in 2000, said Davy and Natalie Lloyd and the third person were killed in Port-au-Prince by our men on Thursday evening. I'm assuming that's, I don't know which Thursday evening. So Gloria, over to you. Okay, thank you. Um, I have a little problem with my internet. I'm not sure why 
Um, so when I heard this story, I was really saddened um, about the, the killing, brutal killing of these, of these people. And it's something that happens um, worldwide, I know, um, with regards to um, persons who, different charities who go into these war-torn or depraved areas or whichever, whatever they're doing. Some are war-torn, some are um, areas where they have famine or, or major health crises. And, you know, they, they come in to help and offer their services to others, give up their self to others freely, um, selflessly. And this, this is how they are, they are brutalized and, and murdered. Um, in different parts of the world. And it's really sad. It's a very young couple and, and they, just, they just lost their lives just like that through, through trying to serve others and to, to help others to give up themselves. And, you know, Haiti is just right here, so very close to us. I, I, I was really hurt um, when, I, when I read the article or heard the news. It was really painful for me. So like you said, Gloria, um, it's not the first time something like this is happening, not necessarily no. in Haiti, um, not necessarily in Jamaica, not necessarily in Canada or wherever yeah, else. It, happened in uh, it happens Canada. everywhere. Yeah. So, so, so what about this one that really, you know... Because, you know, because you. Haiti is so close to us. <laughs> okay. The proximity. Okay. And I thought, you know, it could be Jamaica. It could have been right here. But, you know... It just felt sad because I thought, you know, I have children these, the, of this age group. It could, be, mm -hmm. could have been my children. And who went to give, to serve others and just yeah. lose their lives just like that. Mm -hmm. Snuffed out just like that for no reason. I mean... Are you it, thinking, it, it, are you, I'm wondering if it's time people just leave people to do their own thing and just well, leave you know, them in them country to do their own thing. That is my, that is my, that is my take, you know, Claudette. I, <laughs> <thought> <laughs> I, was, because, selfish. I was selfish and I thought, you know what? If this is going to give up yourself and somebody's come and snuff out your life, then they'll appreciate the effort or the sacrifice that you made to come to serve them. And this is how you're going to be rewarded no, I felt I felt the same way too. Maybe it may maybe it's wrong, but that's exactly how I felt. And the fact of it is that I mean they could have just robbed them and left them alone. They robbed them and then another gang come and decide to kill them. Apparently they're upset they didn't get to rob them first. I don't know. I don't it know. is it's I'm so sad uh, for Haiti because Haiti has been war torn for, torn for so long. So and much. it's like nobody can go in and, and help them to, 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 to sort it out. I mean, this has been going on for, for, for decades. Well, as it says here in the article, Haiti has been racked by decades, for decades by poverty, natural disasters, political instability, and violence. It has had no precedence since the assassination of Jovenel Mo what's how do you pronounce that? Jovenel Moisi in 2021. And it has no sitting parliament. Yeah. And, 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 and <laughs> even those even those other nations, including Jamaica, who try to bring some semblance of order or mm -hmm. a they rejected it. Yeah. It's, it's, if Haiti is turning on their own the way that they have been doing, it's not the first president to be assassinated. It's not the first, if it's not the first president. I mean, they have to run like Nicodemus in the night and leave. What, exactly. am I what is my cousin, my auntie, my sister, my brother? What are they doing there? Exactly. Yeah. I you mean, know. many years ago, um, I had a similar run from Haiti. I had, many years ago, I had a similar feeling about South Africa, I, 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 I have to admit. You know, I mean, I was young, I was stupid, I never really understood politics. Thought I did, but never really understood politics. And I used to say to myself, why these people don't leave the South Africans to figure out things for themselves? You know, why? How is it that, quote unquote, a handful of Caucasian people can hold a mass load of Black people enslaved for so many years still after the fact of slavery. That was my feeling that let the Africans get up and, and take care of themselves. And I'm sorry, yes, I, I understood, I understand now, you know, the misguided 
aspects of that thinking. But there is a core in that where let people decide for themselves. Leave them alone. Why, why, why are you missionaries? Why are you missionaries think you can go into, as we just read, a country like this that has for decades been suffering like this, a lot of it by their own hands. I mean, yes, there has been international and U.S. and all kinds of people going there and rob them and teeth them. And yes, there's all of that. But let them figure it out for themselves. Give them the gun. Yeah, yeah. But these missionaries are there to help the people who are in need, people who have no... Send them the page, the helicopter. Let them do the flyers. Sorry. Pardon me? <laughs> <laughs> drop, fly over and drop it. But how many people are going to have to be sacrificed like this couple? Mm, so sad and they're so young they they knew the risk i would assume going into it so i guess it's a decision that they made and um it wasn't a, a good one i suppose in the end you know sometimes they live in these first world countries colleen they and give they god too much rules, man. They, you know they, they have these glasses on really thinking you know oh it's not as bad as it's it, as it is or they can make a difference you know mm -hmm. they, you know, they live in these countries where they, they don't understand full, full to the ex extent of what they're facing because the, where they live is so far-fetched mm -hmm. from the reality of where they're going. Yes, so yes. how about these rose tinted glass? They think, oh, you know, we can go, we can help, we can make a difference. Because they, they don't know. They don't. They can't visualize what they're going into. Oh, you mean they, can, oh, you mean they don't know, Gloria? No, don't know what? Who doesn't know what about Haiti? Yeah. 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 who doesn't know what about haiti the baby who is just born jump on the wooden <laughs> boat to leave uh, haiti who doesn't know about haiti well that's the only explanation i know for as to why they would go would you yeah. go gloria no but i am <laughs> there. i am tainted. you're tinder you know, one <laughs> we know enough to not want to go <laughs> Some people think that um, Haiti is just cursed because besides the, 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 the wars and all of that, you have natural um, disasters just, they're like a bull's eye yes. to hurricanes. Yes. You know, they're just plagued with everything. Oh, boy. That's the I, remember, I remember years ago, I had a client who was, um, Christian missionary does missionary work, does charity work. And she and a couple of members of her church, they're from Portland. They did a mission to Haiti. Just after the, the earthquake, they did a Christian mission to, to Haiti. Mm. And uh, Mrs. Beckett said she, they spent one week in Haiti. And she couldn't even say a prayer. Mm. She couldn't even say a prayer. One night she went into the closet in her hotel room. I asked God, where you care me? Come here, suffer. <laughs> <Just me. laughs> yeah, she, she, had, she had a serious discussion with God. Because she was like in the belly of you the devil. Her, she went. <laughs> So, would how, how many years ago was this, Clara? That big earthquake, 2013. Wow, and nothing so, has and nothing has changed for the better. Nothing. It has gotten worse. With with everything that happened, nothing has changed. With all the UN nothing has changed. It has gotten worse because she and anybody else in her group never went back. Mm. Would never go back. Voja, okay, father, send me go somewhere else if you want me to go somewhere. Not mm. Haiti. Wow. Well, that was my. Yes, that was. It. Thank oh, you, okay. thank you for giving us such a good start. <laughs> you know, usually I'm very upbeat, but that one really knocked me. That that knocked you off your feet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, and you know, it's it's. It, but despite anything that Clara and I might be saying, that you know, it's. We can understand the Christian desire to help and so forth. But, you know, I remember 
As somebody, uh, uh, when I was training to be a chaplain, <clears throat> one of my supervisors in chaplains of training, she said, wise counsel, you know, mm -hmm. and it was on another topic, but, you know, she said, you have to use wise counsel, you know, yeah. is you, 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 you got this for a reason, you yeah. know, and we have the internet and all that. These people, I mean, them think that God is them personal security God. You know, I was missing and get God too much work for them. <laughs> well, thank you very much again, Gloria. We are going to 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 um to to move to um another another topic. I think Clara, you are next. Let me just grab that. Give me a moment here. Dumb heart, keg walk, joy ride, big car, straight talk, straight talk. Um, my name is Claudia Catherine Campbell, and I am the president of the Dr. Sashiva Foundation. Welcome to these three things. You don't know what it is about. Usually once per month, usually on the last Saturday of the month, we come to you live to discuss three things. Three things that... And the next thing on our list of three things is... Clara will lead us with this one. <laughs> and here we go, Clara. How am I to lead you on this one? Isn't this yours? It is. Uh, oh, lead your woman home. Here, I thought. Lead your home. Well, my story is. Um, Hi, Carella. Thanks for joining us. My story. I don't know. I mean, for this month, I had. Uh, quite a few stories that stuck in my craw <laughs> and i chose this one in particular because just Why? recently we were talking about the influence of being a parent and what we would accept and what we would not accept in one of, in in one of our lives okay and and um it comes right back this one comes right back to what I'm saying. I mean, it's about Sean Kingston. One the infamous one. Sean Kingston. Eh? The infamous Sean Kingston. With him one hit wonder. But is it, is it about <laughs> his mom? Isn't the story about his mom? But yeah. Them? Gloria. Eh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so recently, at uh in florida where they reside in their rented home the home was invaded on the basis that they by his debtors by his creditors by his whoever he hired that or yeah. bought or higher purchased that television from <laughs> and he refused to pay them oh the my debt. god it never changes. We just said that's about Haiti. And what? No. This mother was arrested. She was first arrested. Apparently, she was at home at the time. So they found her, arrested her for the misdeeds of her child. And subsequently, he came back and he was then arrested. Oh, he was arrested as well. Yes, yes, he was arrested two days after because he came. He came back to the to the state, and he was arrested. So can't catch Kwaku, you're catching shot. But then Kwaku oh come and you catch Kwaku too. But um, Clara, wasn't the mother? Don't the mother have a history? Also, the, the mother yeah, says something here in the article that the, the mother. mother both of them have a history <laughs> with all that very chain around him neck. Mm -hmm. They have a history. Yeah. Borrow people things, <laughs> rent people things, and don't pay. That's why they have her also. I think because and, of and, but, well, she was there. She was at, at the house probably watching the rented TV in the and rented house. Some of the, the non paid 14,000 square foot home. Close to Chris, close to, um, and, and Wayne um, Rock, the Rock. Wayne the Rock Johnson is there. In the, what the hell? 
But for somebody who hardly have any hits, hardly. Why is he trying to live such a lavish life? I mean, for somebody with one hit. <laughs> But I think he produces or write for other people in, in all fairness, doesn't he? He's not very successful then, Claudette. Oh, because okay. apparently, and I am not a materialistic person. But oh, you're not? Oh, I'm kidding. No, I am. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm then kidding. Then fly off, but you know. I'm kidding. <laughs> you know? Is it my friend, I, am? <laughs> I am not a materialistic person. But I am a firm believer that you hang your basket where you can reach it exactly totally agree and exactly. for me me even hang it lower even lower as exactly. long as it not broke my back yep you understand if you're in the so-called land of opportunity maybe why is it, it at age it. 34 why is that why is that gloria <laughs> well, you know, there's more history. I'll watch him teeth. I'll kind of something in him do. This is not the first time. Person no, here. no, 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 no. Some, you know, before no, you not, guys it's came it's on, not, Sabine and I were not, talking about yeah, it's, just and all that. it's his, it's it's his mo. He's a thief. I know it catch up with him. But it has been, <laughs> but it has caught up with him long time ago, Clara. Yeah, yes. But look here now. Hi, Nia Dak, Paul. How are where is, you? Where did some where did some mama come from? Sorry. <laughs> let me tell you where the mama come from. Let me tell you no, where the no, mama no. come from. No, let me tell, no, no, no. Let, let me, me tell you where question. the mama come from. The it's mama come from. Let me want to be, do the rhetoric. The mama come from the same place where Finn mama come from and the mama of the young lady that I was talking about in the opening. Right? It's the same place. Them come from that place where them feel safe. Them pick me, must give them anything them want and them don't care. But you including know, their lives. Including their lives. That's what my mom thought and that's what the girl, and I'm going to call her name now. I, I, I don't know the full story, but based on what I heard, Leisha from the glitz and glamour on social media at the same place fair mama come from like sean paul mama where she sit on in at the big house she don't care that in my teeth people money she don't care said the television where she are watching for higher purchase and if i should not care the champagne you. and caviar is tainted yes she don't care leaky 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 as carol had said well Licky, Licky. She is 61, he is 34. What is a 34 year old man doing instead in Muma house? Well, as she live with him, as she, she live with him, yeah, yeah, she, 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 she lives one year living with our 34 year old son in a rented property that they don't pay rent for. They're but not paying rent for the place, or rent to. If all rent on top so of the whole yeah. furniture, try to recover for the outstanding. Oh, Jesus, so them sleeping on the ground. Where well, she like, is, where she is now sleeping on the cold, on stone stone ground. They, 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 they haven't um they're not out on bail. The mother is out on bail, I think, but I think they, they held on to Sean. Enough is enough, man. Enough is enough. He's been doing this for years. He's that been doing this for years. I don't know if that is a file photo or that thing around his neck. Is going to have to get them out. Get it's them a file photo. It's a file <laughs> photo because we probably, probably lose it by now. It it and it probably was never his. It probably, probably had to give was it never. Back. Probably had to give it back. I have heard. Hold on a second. Who is this? Nadia Pal. I would love your wisdom to join. Why? Why do you want to join us? This is not a, a program where um. You can join our live, sir. I'm so sorry. You can participate by doing what you're doing, putting in your comments and so forth. Or uh, you can ask us a question um, if you have a question. But um, unfortunately, you will not be able to join us live. First and foremost, we don't know who you are. So we will not bring you on 
to join us. How oh, wonderful that you love black women. We love black people, white people, yellow people, brown people, every kind of people. As but, a um, <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> can you have anything to say about um, the Licky Licky Mother according to, to, to Carella? Well, I, I guess the Licky Licky Mother, she, she has taught us how to be Licky Licky. And that is the reason why like mother likes son. Like mother likes son. Like mother likes son. You know, I didn't and know then, that, I, I, know I just said that, that if somebody said to said to, I didn't know they said had to had Jared, history. like mother likes son. Oh yeah, but I didn't know I didn't know about the mom, but I knew about Sean Kingston. Oh okay. I think everybody but you knew about Sean Kingston. <laughs> yeah. and that's not hard. <laughs> If Gloria had known about Sean Kingston, it would have ruined her reputation. <laughs> I know the song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, 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 I don't even remember the song now. I want the song going Suicide. There's something about suicide. I know so the song go, Gloria. That's about suicide. Yes, suicidal. man. Yes, man. Yes, man. Something about suicide. That's the only song you sing? That's yes, only that's that's another? That's another one. I know another hit. one. It's no, the one hit wonder. Hit. That's the only hit he has? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I don't think, I don't that think that so because it's another. Song, me, no. Sorry, may I Google it right now? Beautiful girls. Fire burning. That's the one we know. Fire burning. Fire that was burning. That was the big hit. It's, just, it's a beautiful girl. It's suicidal. It was a big hit. And the beautiful Fire. girl. Yes. Fire burning. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it, but let me. <clears throat> Fire burning, burning. Let me have a play. Hold on. So, <laughs> like, I'm first, a beautiful. Can you guys girl. hear? I think he sung one about Jamaica. I don't remember. Yeah, man. This dancing. We're talking about hits, you know, Colleen. Yes, we're not talking about songs. No, this is a hit, man. The fire burning. We know you heard that one day, yeah? Never heard of it. One, one. You can't see it. I can't hear it. hear it. I can't hear it. I can't hear it. We can't hear anything. Did I hear it? Okay. No. One, one. Okay. <laughs> Got it. I still don't know it. It's you singing it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> That's my story. That was okay. it. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. That, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. Okay. So my story is next. And um, it's going to be two parts. It, I have two, two videos that I want to air. They're pretty long, but I'm not going to air all of them. So is it two topics or one topic? It's one topic. Mm -hmm. And but I need to play the two parts of the video. But I just play one piece and I play the other piece. So just give me a moment. Let me bring that up. Dumb hard, keg walk, joy ride, bake car, straight up, straight up, straight up. Um, my name is Claudia Tessarin Campbell, and I am the president of the Dr. Sashiva Foundation. Welcome to these three things. You don't know what it is about. Usually once per month, usually on the last Saturday of the month, we come to you live to discuss three things. Three things that stick in our craw, that, that either made us happy or made us angry or just somewhere in between and um so we hear the the directors of the dr sashiba foundation come and each of us choose one such topic and we discuss as i'm dancing i'm all in my zone james brown dumb heart cake walk joy ride big car straight up straight up straight up straight up dumb heart cake walk joy ride big car Straight up, straight up, straight up. Okay, here we go. Sorry, took me a minute. I have so many things open. Do you see the loopholes that our incompetent government has created? We have abused it. If they don't fulfill our any of the demands, there will be a hunger strike to death. So we have the right to stay here. We will keep on striking in, until our last breath. We wouldn't give up. I'm here to speak up. 
against what is happening. It's not even about permanent residency. Canada's reputation for being such a soft country has gone global. It's very hard to get a job in Canada right now. It's very like even difficult to like secure even an interview. It might be a little harder for like the average Canadian to get a job now. Yeah made $140 million on tuition in the last 16 months. And they're working in a minimum wage in a food restaurant. That does not bode well for the country. Establish yourself here. You bring your entire family over and then get use of all the social services that Canada offers. There's a couple of colleges that the Globe and Mail investigated and they didn't even have classrooms in them. They had places to process your immigration file. We're helping new Canadians succeed and shape our country for the better. Okay, so that's 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 the first one. So basically you 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 have an understanding of what my story is about. It's about a broken Canadian immigration system. And it's it's more than just simply a broken Canadian immigration system. It's this is my words we are being invaded here in Canada. And um, we are not the only place being invaded. Um, I, the, the, other, the other clips that I have is showing about the same thing is happening across Europe. Um, and, it, and we can even link it back to the story that um, happened in Jamaica recently of um, aircraft landing in Jamaica with over 200 um, <clears throat> 200. Um, and they could just work there for six months and then qualify for permanent residence after they get their PR. Most of them will come back here because this is where they thrive in this corrupt Gotham City. We are just seeing the fruits of many years of bad policy. We've attracted newcomers who bring important skills and the know-how to create jobs and grow our economy. But now the scale of it is so large and now none of our children can find jobs this summer can anyone explain to me why the is so hard to get a job in toronto many people have immigrated to canada recently and realized one of the quickest ways to get money and power is to become an immigration agent and you can see these immigration agents online are coaching students on how to apply as refugees and also how to get politically active when 700 students were caught with fraudulent papers, the government ordered them to be deported, but they started protesting by the airport and they brought in religious music. As of to say, this is some religious struggle and Canadians who are so scared of their own shadows just gave in, you saw all. And that's what's happening. Um, mm. We have a situation here where um, years ago, like when I came to Canada, which is over 20 years ago, 22 years ago, um, there was a real desperate need for immigration, larger scale immigration. And over time, I remember the year when we came, it was, I think, 150,000 immigrants a year they were processing. Now we are at 500,000 immigrants a year. But if that if that that's one part of it because you have 500 close to 500,000 immigrants being processed a year um and that's for permanent residency and um you know family reunification and all of that but um we also have refugees that's that's on top of that and and now we also have close to 1 million if i think i heard a report that it was actually over 1 million international students in coming into canada and um a lot of these international students i don't know what percentage i could find out if anybody really wants to know um Sorry. international students coming into canada um who have more than a good percentage of them are not here to study you know they they as as you heard in the report they come with um bad paperwork um they come with no money they come with, they borrow the money, they have the money on paper, but it's really a loan from a bank. I've heard reports of that. Uh, and then they're, they're, they're raiding the food banks. We've had situations where the food banks are, are overrun by international students. And I'm sorry to say, particularly 
students from India, um, they, 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 they are in the food banks, literally taking out the food that are there for people who are in true need. These kids are supposed to have their own money to fund themselves. Yes, there's an argument that, um, that they're here, um, they have to work and so forth. They were during, prior to COVID, they were allowed to work 20 hours um, per week or, or per month, per week. And then when COVID happened and, you know, the, the government opened that up and said that they removed the restriction in terms of limits of hours. But then um, now the government is saying, no, 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 no. We have to cut back on these hours because Canadians, they're not Canadians. Canadians cannot get jobs because, and because you guys are taking up all of the jobs and you're working full time and you're not supposed to be working full time. You came here a student. So it's a right mess. It's a right mess. And everybody who knows me know that I've always been a liberal, but trust me, I am not voting liberal this coming election. I cannot, not in good conscience, vote liberal because the immigration situation is horrible. It's horrible, horrible. Yeah. Horrible, horrible. So, is it the monitoring of these things that is lax? There's no monitoring what? in place. There's sorry? no monitoring in place. So there, <coughs> there policy sorry. failure. It's, it's a policy failure, correct, Cara? There is also talk about the conspiracy mm -hmm. theory said that um, the, the liberal government kind of just turned a blind eye because they wanted a lot of people in. They would put them in there. They call it riding. You guys call it constituency. Um, so that they could win the election, so that they would get the votes and so forth. Um, but it's 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 a policy failure. It's 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 corruption. It's you have a lot of immigration consultants who are bringing in these people. Not I hate to say that word, but sorry, who are bringing in people who say that they're students who are really not students. I I worked in immigration and I've seen some of the false documents, the false documents. It's it's really a right mess. Now that the government has decided that. Now that the government has decided that one, no, they're cutting back on the amount of hours you can work. We're going back to the 20, 25 hours maximum. They've so, PEI um, have decided that we're putting a hold on international students for two years. I think British Columbia has also done the same thing. And, and there's been lots of restrictions um, implemented. Um, they're rioting, they're literally rioting. They're, they're rioting, they're on hunger strike, they're protesting, demanding that the government of Canada change its policy to sue them. Because when they came here... Go on hunger strike, or they'd be hungry. Well, that's what somebody said, go hungry or go home. That's, <laughs> that's what the PE, I said. And I know people, you have people who are going to say, but you're an immigrant. I came here legally 22 years ago. I waited my turn. I, I personally did our paperwork and we waited 18 months in Jamaica for our paper to be processed. And we landed here as the, 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 the system had changed. So we landed as permanent residents. I did not come here as an international student. I did not marry a Canadian to come here. I came here legally as a permanent resident. Why can they not do the same? And if you're here as a student, when your student visa expires, if you are not invited to apply for permanent residency, go on your yard. How can you be, be protected? There's marching. They're marching in the streets across Canada. Across Canada. Um, I, 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 I heard about the marches, but can I say that, um, um, Claudia, that the immigration problem is, is an international thing because the same issues oh, that absolutely. you're having in Canada is the same issues that they have in the UK. Mm -hmm. Very same issues they have in the UK where they come in it, on full student paperwork and they, they try to find full-time jobs. And so it's, just, it's the same issue issue there. And it's basically the same and, countries. And it's the same countries too. Yeah, but, but yeah, Canada, and, does, and, Canada does has a new target for them now because they, they, they run with us places to go. But my, my thing is, my thing is, I know this. Uh, it, it might sound um somebody this new that Paul writing. We have capacity to make them legal. No, we don't have the capacity to make them legal. We don't have stay in your countries. 
stay in your countries, wait your turn, apply through the legal process, and then you but come. But everybody can apply through the legal process. Well, they stay in so, so what? Okay. So it means that England should just absorb all of India? Or, or Canada must absorb all of India? It's no, impossible. No. What about, for example, <laughs> I have been here 20 odd years, pay my taxes, have my grandkids, I must just absorb all of these kids from, from India just because <laughs> whatever. They must fight with their government in their country to fix the problems in their country. So Canada opened the, I think Canada. Canada's fault. Door. They flew the door open and yeah. they are being bombarded. Yeah. Cannot yeah. come to pull it. Yeah. That's, the, that's the problem. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. You're right. And don't, You're right. And don't forget that India has now overtaken <laughs> China as the most populated place on earth. Yes. Yes. It, yes, they have. Yes. They have now taken over. So they are, they are now the number one position in the number one position for the most populated. Um, mm -hmm. China did a whatever they did culturally in in Restricting they have the population control population number of children. children. Growth in population. India never stopped. India never stop. They have a population control problem and it is theirs to fix. They cannot dump their problems on unleash, the rest of the world. The, unleash. unleash. <laughs> <laughs> their problems on the rest of the world. It 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 is it wasn't is. wasn't there a wasn't there a political role? between both countries a couple months ago between canada and india oh yeah about them oh, yeah, yeah. Palestine. Oh, yeah there was a big fight and 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 you know i i don't want to to put the two issues into one but because you said that there there was a row between us and canada and india there yeah. there have been terroristic alleged terroristic acts committed by indians here in canada so I hear. And, you so know, it's, it's 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 crazy. You know, and and one of the things that they're doing is that so one of them gets a job in let's say this store. I'm not going to call it a name store. They don't hire anybody else from any other race. <laughs> so um, you get a job as a manager after you know they're not hiring, and so this is why you heard in that clip one lady saying. It's crazy. You can't find a job in Toronto. Toronto is like the melting pot of Canada. Every that nationality, is, right? Every, every nationality. And you cannot find a job if you're a black or a white or a Asian person in a store that is managed by an East Indian. They're not hiring you. They're not hiring you. <coughs> and I won't even bother <laughs> talk about the other issues with them in terms of hygiene issues and, and all of that and service issues. It's, we have um, Houston, there is a problem in Canada and just <laughs> so, 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 um, is it the, I don't want anybody to come for me. <laughs> is it the dregs of India that is? No, no. So why is it that the, Opening up to them has had such a negative. Because they don't want to go home. They don't yeah. want to go home. So what about what about what about working and building and whatever it is? No, no. You, you you have you you have, with all due respect, hundreds of thousands of Indians here who came here, did their go through the process, got their education, additional education, because they're bright people. That's the you point. Know, that's got that's their education and, and stuff and and were granted residency and all of that and live in wonderful lives. And a lot of them are upset about what these new ones are doing. So, so right? it's a okay. then. <laughs> a lot of them, if you go on TikTok, you see a lot of them speaking out about that they're ashamed, they're disgusted, you so know, by what these new you. ones are doing. So if for the ones in want of a better word, the dregs are the ones, not necessarily in terms of education, but in terms of their attitude. They have no desire mm -hmm. to come to Canada and respect Canadian laws. Good, you know, good, they, they, they have none. They come here, they 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 try to speak. For example, it this might sound like a simple thing to you. But I drive into Tim Hortons and I'm being called honey. And, and 
hi and i'm like please do not call me honey i am not your honey this is you're in a customer service job do not call me honey that's not how it works you know and, and this is a kind of thing they're they, they are such trying to take us over with their culture and it, it's i don't know i don't know it's it, it is turning it's turning a lot of um would be liberal people off like myself it is pushing us to the side of the conservatives it is pushing us to the side of anti-immigration because of them and, and trudeau is going to lose the next election solely on this issue and i will be one of the first votes because he has made a, it was a mess long before him but he has tripled it he has tripled it it has escalated Escalated is 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 too polite. Escalated is good. It is awful what's happening. No, when you say no, you know, um, people talk about the politeness of Canadian. That's not necessarily true. But when you hear about people marching in the streets, demanding, see, that doesn't happen in Canada until these Indians, these East Indians, that doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. That's not a Canadian way of. Of, of handling problems you oh is the canadians who are marching no the indians all right the east indians are marching demanding that there's they stay and why did we take taxes from them if i mean if i go to america now on a on, as a canadian citizen or when i was had a travel on a jamaican passport on my u.s visa and if I had a work permit and I worked for three weeks, I had to pay U.S. taxes. They're <laughs> saying that once they pay tax in a country, they they earn the right. They have earned the right to stay in that country. So that's what's happening in Canada, and that's in my craw. And God know, God know, I will, I will be signing up for the Conservative Party. I will be a one-issue voter. Anybody watching this? Please, them can tell the 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 um the conservative federal conservative party, Mr. Pulvier, that I, I will vote for him. I will vote for him if he can fix this, because this is crazy. This is crazy. What's happening? Yeah, but yeah, I have to think. Is he the huh? Is he a better? Can he handle it? No, he can't. No, I, I, it's the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. But 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 it's a perception that Justin has made such a awful mess and he justin doesn't seem to have the balls to say you know what we made a mistake reverse this thing send them back because that's what needs to happen they need to be sent back your visa done go on your yard true your visa done go 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 that's Most what needs to happen with the intention because when they apply they hear that from once they study and get a job, they can then style for um, permanency. That is what they, the abs. Yeah. Everyone no. them. No, and but no, but 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 yeah. Me, I studied immigration. The <laughs> ad might say that, but there is a fine print in that ad. You have to qualify. It's not every program. So some people think that they can come here and do a six months program, and that's it. That's not true. That was never true. There were specific programs. There were specific fields. There was it had to be at Skill. least a year. It it had to be at least a year. There there were there were underlying things, but corrupt immigration but consultants did not them tell them this. From Jamaica still know. We don't want we don't want no more plane come here. So you keep them there. We don't want more plane come here. <laughs> Well, but well, you see, and 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 this is exactly what is happening. They're going everywhere. They're going everywhere. They're going everywhere because India has a problem, and so anywhere that can, will take them, and they're, and when they come, they're taking over. When they come, they're taking over. And yeah, sad. It's sad. All right, folks. Thanks for um, allowing me to. Right. Oh, listen, I am I, I am ready to fight. I am ready to fight on this one because like I said, 
I waited in line. I waited in line. You know, Boy, so and as she's to get the truth, but of it tonight. No, you know, but you can't you know one sub cards. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, guys, let me um so we're gonna close tonight with um Colleen's piece and uh, it's also two videos, and so we will play pieces of, of both. Uh, so let me get that. Hold on, there's a comment here. Um, <clears throat> Carella says, yes, called it. They want to take over your country, whichever country they go. Yes, they do. They do. They do. I played, if you go to my, um, I, know, I think I played it on Dr. Sashiba Foundation as well. I, I, I did a clip where a man said that in by 2030, um, they will be in control of the world. Um, them and Muslim law will be in control of the world. And that is the plan. That is the plan. So you can all, wow. yeah. That, and he, he just he just told the quiet part out loud. Anyway, let me get the other ones. Give me a second here. Dumb heart, keg walk, joy ride, bake car, straight talk, straight talk, straight talk. Um, my name is Claudia Tessarin Campbell, and I am the president of the Dr. Sashiva Foundation. Welcome to these three things. You don't know what it is about. Usually once per month, usually on the last Saturday of the month, we come to you live to discuss three things. Three things that stick in our craw, that, that either made us happy or made us angry okay so this is how our final story for tonight and here we go but i'm not gonna know if you said i saw you zoom can zoom in if more video you can zoom in a teacher a teacher Teacher killed chicken on school ground. Classes were suspended at Sydney Pagan STEM Academy in St. Elizabeth this morning and students sent home after a female teacher had what is suspected to be a mental health breakdown. In a video circulating on social media platforms, the teacher is seen killing a chicken and preying on the school's compound. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me stop that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, so we have a second clip to that for of that. Um, with the teacher herself explaining what happened. But um, Colleen, it's your story. Please introduce us to it. Okay, so you saw what the teacher and she was, everybody thought she was going crazy because um, she's acting like she's doing some obia thing on the, the school compound. Obia is witchcraft, folks, for those of you who don't understand that. Okay, so tall and short of it, um, I, I listened to a podcast that she, she explained what happened. All right, she said she was... She you want me to play the other one? I can explain it, really. She was a teacher. She has been a teacher for uh, nine years. And uh, she, she taught also in England. And um, where she had a, a little, she also had a little um, breakdown in England. And um, because she wasn't getting money or something like that. So she came back to Jamaica and uh, she wasn't looking any money or anything in Jamaica. She, she, she was taking a, a, a kind of break from teaching. And then a friend of hers got her, a, told her to, to, to um, the school was looking for a teacher. So she kind of pushed her because she's, she's a math specialist. I you know a lot of schools, we are short of math specialists these days. So. She mm -hmm. she didn't go to run to the school and she was hired immediately. Apparently, the teacher that they had before left suddenly. So she got the job. And um, so she was a math specialist. So her complaint is that she has been teaching. She sent in her documents 
and um, she has not been given her pay that she's due. Um, she's a specialist, so she's supposed to be getting a, um, a good salary. And um, instead, they were giving her a free trained teacher salary. She has complained um, over and over to the principal who and the admin staff who took it very lightly, keep telling her it will come. Everything, all the documents were sent in. So it's ministry the waiting on and all of that. So she kept going back and back to them. Nothing. So she said she was getting a bit frustrated, but what hit the camel on the head, as so to speak, was when one of her students came to her, um, was a little girl, and she saw cuts on her hand. So she realized the child was um, cutting herself, and that could uh, amount to suicide. So she took the child to the VP. The VP, um, Told the child the child had on a sweater that was covering up the cuts and the vp told the child to take off the sweater so she told the vp you know you know the child is cutting herself so you know don't embarrass her by taking off the sweater the vp did not show any kind of you know, um remorse or anything like that so she told the child to take it off the child had to take it off and everybody saw the cuts so the child was embarrassed and the teacher said that hit up a, a spot in her because she understand what it is to feel to be depressed and at the brink of suicide and that kind of hit hit her in a bad place so she kind of she she broke so to speak she broke folks so, what you're seeing on the side is an interview that the teacher did her name is felika hunter and it's the interview and Colleen is basically just summarizing what she she explained in this interview with Andre Stevens, who is a Jamaican YouTuber, um, quite popular, and uh, she explained. So this is what you're summarizing, right, Colleen? Yes, because it's a long, it's a long interview. Right, right. right. So I'm kind of summarizing. Right, and she said because of that, she said she she she. I don't know what you find so funny. <laughs> Sorry, Colleen, I, I, I see Clara dying with laughter. I just have to find out what you find so funny. Okay. Go ahead, Colleen. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. The teacher said the, the VP was very insensitive to the child and um because she asked the child to expose her cuts and you know she she it it, it broke her. And um she said what on top of it was that she wasn't getting her money. And that was the main reason why she said she's going to do something out of the norm. Because she's a person like that. She will she 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 will do anything to get what she wants. So while they consider her to be getting crazy, a mad person, she said she deliberately pretended to be one. So <laughs> She carried powder in her pockets. She 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 went into the school so to draw attention or to get attention. Is that what she did? For because they, uh, they were not paying her any mind, and she wanted her money, and they were just beating her, carrying her around the bush. How smart so, is that? They said she couldn't go to the ministry. What she couldn't go ministry or something. How smart is that? Just acting. Go on, acting crazy. All oh, that makes sense. I don't know, but that is what she said. She took matters in her hands. And this is and a teacher. Exactly. Yep. Training yep. That's, that, that's all that's been going through my mind. That's this is teacher. our educational system. <laughs> that is, she doesn't deserve a red cent. She said she go into the school and she she take out one of them chicken. So and math teachers, math teacher, math, math teacher, math, math. She said everybody sang the everybody splurt. But she was not getting her good salary. Pauline, I'm saying, a rose, isn't there a process to, to follow, to, to, to go through that? Listen, listen I, I to Miss Calm Gloria. <laughs> I'm just questioning it. Why is she there a process to follow, to speak her correct remuneration? <laughs> I don't know. If she wasn't getting JTA through, to make a 
If she My was question a is, did it all of your work? <laughs> it, the, apparently, it, it did. Yes. It, her money. it made everybody look at her now. And if in the end, she got her money. But, but, it made her, she lost her job. Oh, okay. But she said she's I not. I wonder why. She's not going to. She said she, she's not going to teach anymore because after she all, she was of, never a teacher. I don't <laughs> want her in here. Imposter. <laughs> Imposter. <laughs> but I give back that money. But, <laughs> and she said she light two candles, and everybody thinks she was doing some obvious. So everybody ran, including the principal. I would have run too. <laughs> So, but but she said and she. I'm a woman of faith. She said all of that gave her back her money that she was waiting on, and they had to push her to that extent in order to give her what she deserved. Not a soul pusher. <laughs> she made you see, and this is anyway. Let, let, let me make you finish it here, Colleen. And, but I am I'm saying. Just sit my water and drink and mind the business. <laughs> What I'm saying is, I understand the system is slow because I can speak from personal experience. It is slow when you're just getting a job, a new job with the um, public system. It is slow getting your, your first pay. Um, you have to wait for quite a while to get it. I'm telling you, I know that for a fact. But and how many chickens did you kill? I didn't go out there to kill any chicken, but okay. I decided, <laughs> I waited, I went to, I was sent to the ministry to see what was going on. I do my own follow-up. So it took me. As a teacher would. As a trained teacher. Exactly. Would. As a what? smart person would. Exactly. What she did was, <laughs> they said that, ministry said, it was the principal's fault. The principal did not send up documents unsigned. In a, another document system. <laughs> <laughs> so they said, Minister, and it was a blame, blame, blame thing. And she did mm, not pass in the book. The, the, the principal book. asked her for her credentials, and she had none. Are you are you are you saying that this has but been reported, Clara? Or are you just a figure? That's what happened. Hey, Clara, the principal. <laughs> the hey, principal uh -huh. is his responsibility to get the credentials. Did you say that she got some salary, but she was not getting the right salary as a specialist teacher? Yeah, she got pre-trained. So it would be the it would be the specialist. Credentials that that would have been outstanding. She said the only thing that was no. She said she brought in all the credentials. By she started in October. She got the job in October. Remember, she didn't get the training here, you know. So yes, ma'am. She, she worked at several schools in Jamaica before she went to England. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Clara. Carola asked, wasn't she the same person that stabbed her boyfriend? <laughs> It gets better. To tell you the truth, I know nothing about that one. <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing about that one about the stabbing. She did okay. I'm a um, <laughs> to test that one. The map. You know, my 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 granddaughters have a game that they play about a teacher game. It's called the scary teacher. <laughs> <laughs> This this might very well be the situation. The scary teacher. <laughs> no, but 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 you know, it's sad. It is sad on all fronts. In that, a public servant. Let us let us bring some civility to this, Thank and you. stop laughing. A a public servant has to 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 be doing the follow up themselves about their salary in whichever country. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where. Um, so that's sad. You know, it's also sad that a public servant or anyone for that matter, having not received said salary, has to resort to witchcraft 
to 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 or think they have to think they have to resort to witchcraft to, <laughs> to, 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 to resolve their salary issue as well as the mental health and this is serious the mental health support needed for one of her students you know um and herself obviously um it's it's sad it's sad all around isn't it it Gloria? is i i i am very yes. concerned about the impact that behavior had on the children on or the children. is still having on the children and forgive me but i am more concerned about those children than this teacher because she planned no, no, it. you're right she planned it this premeditated mental health breakdown i've never heard of that <laughs> No, but she, she never said she had a mental health breakdown. She just, she just, just says she's going to use it all. Yeah, she got some other song. I'm mad me, I'm mad out. No, so the song. We came into the dance, you know. We know for the dance, you know. Mad me, I'm mad out. And more than me. I, 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 I. This level of, what do you call it, gimmickry? Yeah. Where does yeah. that come from? That's the smartest thing that you can think of. No, but Clara, what do you mean? Where does that come from? Look, look across everything that we have spoken about this evening. Look across everything we've spoken about this evening, and 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 this is how we're going to wrap up. Um, we started with um, and I love that you gave us that word. You know, we started with um, Gloria's story about Haiti, right? Haiti has been in crisis for decades, and these. And these people think that they can go down there with two Bible in them hand and, and think that they're going to turn the country around. Which is only the New Testament. <laughs> but, but, but that has been from, from, from since. It's still gimmickry. It's yeah. still gimmickry. What, what Haiti needs, what Haiti needs is some fundamental policy, societal, economic intervention that has that is not biased by Western or US politics, but real assistance to the people, not some charity led by the, the Bill Gates or whoever else, whatever the name, the Clintons or anybody going down there with them damn gimmickry, right? So that's where we started. Then we moved on to, 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 to Clara and the biggest gimmickry of all, Sean Kingston, teeth in people watches from when walking around as if him is some big shot and some superstar with him one son, although me not two. Well, they're two about four and it's 14 years ago. I googled it. You googled it, see what I mean? 14 so years four, ago. Four yep. songs from 14 years ago, but in full of gimmickry. He came to Jamaica was it last year or the year before with um who was he down there? Chris Brown, who came with for him on set of gimmick real my love, the little young man. But um Chris Brown came there with his million dollar concert, and Sean Kingston was there showing off himself with him, Shane, and all of his his gadgets. You know, it's it's all gimmickry, it's all gimmickry. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's right to, to what I said. was speaking about here in Canada with the, 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 the situation that we're having with these in so-called international students and their own gimmickry about they're going on hunger strike to demand to take over Canada. It's all games. And I don't know, maybe one of you learned people or Carella or Lika Bliss, Danny, who is watching, or Nidiak can tell us what is this world where is this world going because everything is a joke everything is props everything is for likes everything is for follow everything is gimmickry everything everything there is um, no real substance country, anymore it was just it was just out on saturday gloria when i said that um social media is going to be the death of us yeah, yeah, everything is out of control. Out because totally, totally, it's totally out of control. Look at this lady now; she has a problem with her pay, and she got take up, go kill phone, 
and 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 instead of somebody calling the cops to lock up our backside, then put it on social media. Then put oh it on social boy. media. It's it's all and magic. the social media like them take it on and start the interview. The and social the social, media like yeah, them. yeah. Yeah, the social and, media and then like, um, she's given a platform by 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 social media. It's that's what it's all about. That's I, 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 I hear one. I hear one today say that um she's 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 an international note. I tell you, folks, if I go outside now, now, and walk down this. 24 blocks along this area of Edmonton. Nobody knows her. Nobody knows her. But she feels that she is an international star because she has 600,000 people on social media following her. And she decided that she's an international star so much so that she's going to, to New York to, 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 to hold a meet and greet. It's all, it's all drama. Mm, oh, wow. So hold on, hold on. Two of you talking and I can't hear either of you. Gloria, what you're saying? Gloria. Gloria. Exactly. Oh, what Clara. were you saying, Colleen? <laughs> if she did not have an audience, then she would feel like she's all that. No, but but we have an audience too. Um, we have we have eight billion people in the in the world. We have oh. eight billion exactly eight billion people in the world, and you have less than a million people following you, not actively, and you feel that like you're a superstar when you have a super you have a superstar, whether you like him or not. As Bantan, as Butcher Banton going to New York, who. As the tickets open, sales open, it will be sold out. You know, it's 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 just ridiculous what social media has done to some of these people's brains. And they don't want to go find a job. They don't want to do nothing meaningful. It's all gimmickry. It's all gimmickry. And then you have people, like I said in my yeah. monologue, you have people who are hurting right here on social media. You have a woman who's who 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 is near suicidal because people on social media are calling her workplace to say things about her and she's suicidal and people who claim that they're they have platforms are bashing her instead of supporting her yeah. it's all a joke it's all a joke yeah. it's all a joke and then you have people like us here beating our heads and me my chest tightening because we don't recover yet from all of this, because I'm like, what is the world coming to? Uh -huh. It's all gimmickry. Thank you for that word, Clara. It's all gimmickry. <laughs> As Colorado said, it's all about likes on social media and gimmicks and gimmicks. And you know, I'm using this word and a lot of them do not understand that word. Them can't spell it, much less understand what you mean by gimmicks. That's all they're doing. Anyway, as we close, any final okay, words, ladies? ladies? Thanks very much. Okay, that's her final it word. Clara, what? Any final word from you, Clara, after gimmicks? <laughs> no, that was my final word. <laughs> Colleen. It was a pleasure being here. It was very interesting. It was great having you, and we look forward to to your your next appearance <laughs> on our platform. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank you, Nidiak. Thank you, Karela. Thank you, Danny, for for watching, and thank you those of you who will be watching this afterwards. Um, <clears throat> we do this once every month when we um, talk about issues on social media or in the news that, you know, baffles us, that bewilders us, or that makes us go, wow, there is hope. And so thanks again. Please share if you so care to do. We really don't care whether you share or not. We really don't care whether it's one of you or two of you. My philosophy is, why are you laughing? You think I'm here, you see, the, the, the beauty of what we do, um, 
um, Khalid, is that we we don't depend on likes and shares, you know. Um, we 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 pay for this ourselves, you know. <laughs> right here, where we work, we work, and right here, where are we invest? Right here, where we're talking, this costs us every month to use this this app, this platform. This is not free, so you know we we don't have to sell tickets. To, to be able to do this. So thank you very much, everybody. Do join me on Saturday okay. evening. Right. Have a great night. For... All right, Gloria, go and go sleep. You can't wait for say good night. She said good night. Have a great night. All right, have a great night. Have a great night. I don't know, Mila, don't talk to me. She's still up on. Have a great night. Have a great night. <laughs> Do join me on Saturday afternoon for um, Long Range. <laughs> At, at 3 p.m. here in Alberta, Canada, uh, 4 p.m. In, in, in Jamaica, or 5 p.m. in the U.S. Thank you. What time, what time in Jamaica? What time? Four. What time 4 p.m. Jamaica? 4, 4. I used to have to tell her again, so. Okay. <laughs> good night, everybody. Have a good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>